Hello everyone, my name is Hans Larsen. I'm an engineering lead here at Definity on the SDK team. In a previous video, you learned what is the internet computer. In this video, we will learn about DFX and the SDK. DFX is our command line tool to interact with the internet computer. In order to get it, you can go to the SDK microsite at sdk.definity.org and uh, you can find all kinds of resources here to help you develop and deploy your canisters. So a canister is kind of a, an autonomous running software on the internet computer. It has code and it has uh, a state data associated with it. And so what you can do with the SDK is actually create a new project, uh, build it, build the code part of your canister and send the canister up to the internet computer and interact with it. It can be downloaded and installed through a terminal by going to the sdk.definity.org website, clicking quick start, and then copy and paste this line here in your terminal of choice. You will have to agree to our license agreement. And the script automatically fetch the latest version of the SDK, which is 0.62 uh, at the time of this recording, and install it inside your uh, user bin folder. To verify that it's been properly installed, you can run dfx dash dash version, and it will show you the version that you just installed. So you can look at the list of commands using dfx help, which will list all the commands that are normally used. So if you want a new, a new hello project, you can do it using dfx new, and then uh, dfx start to start your local version of the replica, and uh, dfx stop to stop it, um, and then DFX canister to interact with the replica and your canister on the internet computer. Uh, these are the most used commands. Uh, of course, you can look through the help using DFX dash dash help with the command. You can look at uh, every command's help the same way as you did uh, for DFX itself. For example, if we want to look at DFX canister, we can use help and it shows to us that it, we can call, create, or install uh, canisters on the internet computer. In future videos, you're going to take a deeper look into the FX and how to use it to create your projects and deploy it on the IC. And you're going to learn about Motoko, a language that was built specifically for the internet computer. So on this, have fun and go build something extraordinary.